Assalamualaikum alaikum guys I'm at uh, Loughborough University I'm at HB to be precise So I know this video is long a video I know I should have done this video a long time ago But every time I come to the uni to record so For whatever reason something happens For example my battery finishes Or my memory card gets full So every time I, I did it I had some problems One of the main challenges uh, for me to do this video it was because the university is such a huge place I didn't know where to start to be honest so yeah I'm just gonna show you guys uh, bits and pieces here and there from uh, my earlier recording and share with you guys so, so this might be something different from what I've done uh, previously but I hope you guys will enjoy it as, as much or even more hopefully so guys <coughs> I would like to apologize for some of the recording I know you guys uh, can't hear it very well because um, when I did some of this recording, it was very very windy, I didn't realize that it was covering my voice. So, yep, let me show you guys around. So a bit about Loughborough University before I show you guys around. Loughborough Uni is known as one of the best, I mean, the best sports uni um, in the UK. Last Olympic, they've got like 12 Olympic medals from Loughborough University, something like that. And they also got doing about 4 or 5 medals from the last athletic uh, world championship in London. So it's quite an achievement. Uh, for a university. I've talked to some of the students and I've met uh, some of the staff here and they've told me that uh, engineering is one of the uh, key ROD focus in this university as well. I'm at uh, Computer Studies. Uh, I've been only here once, so I'm not sure what it's for. I think uh, I'm here just to check out some of the PCs. Uh, to work on my assignments, so no, let me guys let, let me show you guys around. So to get into computer study, you guys need to touch your card because you no, know, it's a weekend and it's half hours. So yeah. In every room here, they will give you to show you guys the timetable, so you guys know know that if the room is occupied or not. Yeah. So uh, SBE is also known as uh, Richard Morris Building. Okay, guys, I'm at the rugby field today. Uh, currently, uh, Loughborough Uni, my uni has a match today, so I think it's one of the biggest benefits uh, here to be at a sports uni that I can watch uh, sports matches like every other day if I wanted to. Yeah. at the front rubber crumb is just next to the uh, rugby field so apparently today they have a frisbee match between Loughborough and I don't know who else so Loughborough is in the purple so yeah I told you every kind of sports you can think of here okay guys I'm at uh, Shirley Peace Square so usually in the evening, uh, some kids will come and play skateboarding here, and some you know some societies will do barbecues here and have some bazaars here. So yeah, it's not always, but sometimes. Uh, yeah, so you can see this huge space. Yeah. So this is behind Shirley P Square. There's the National Center for Sports and Exercise Medicine. Yeah, I guess this is for any sports injuries they come here. I've never been in it, obviously. So these are mostly uh, classes and so on. And this is what we call the tower in Loughborough. Oh, it's a huge tower. These are mo mostly accommodations. And just next to it is the tower dining. This is where I usually go, at, not usually, but sometimes go for uh, lunch. Because it's quite affordable, but I guess it's not open since students are not back yet from the holidays in in the towers dining usually you can you know with six pounds you can get a whole meal like starter dessert 
uh, main course, uh, you know, drinks and everything. So, yeah, it's quite affordable. So, guys, behind me is the Netball Badminton Center. So guys, this is the cricket field next to the rugby field. Okay guys, I'm at uh, LSU Loughborough Student Union. So this is basically where everything is. Uh, the co-op, the pharmacy, the dentist, the optometrist. So this is where all the students would hang out and you know, so I'm just gonna drop by for a while to get my favorite pastry here. Yeah. The co-op also sells lovely steam merchandise, t-shirts, hoodies, lanyards, everything. So yeah, I've been wanting to get one of these, but yeah, hopefully soon. <laughs> so as you can see, this is the inside reunion. We have Starbucks and everything. So upstairs is all where the union is. So yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy my pastry now. Favorite cheese and onion pastry. Bismillah. Came okay, for an event here, I think it was an international day where uh, people from different countries share their international food. That was good. And I remember when I was my first week here, it was the freshest week. So they had the, the, the event for freshers here as well uh, to show what kind of sports they, they have, what kind of activities they do here, what kind of activities you can join. And things like that, which is really good. Quite, really good. Yeah, really, really nice. So I just left LSU. It's a bit sunny now. Uh, just in front of LSU. Yeah, it used to be a Postgraduate house, uh, it's a building specifically for postgraduate students like myself. We have a small room down down there for like uh, classes or seminars down there and on top. So that's a relaxing area for everyone to eat, do work, play, whatever. Yeah, but it's specifically for postgraduate students. Yeah, and free tea, coffee. Me and my classmates, we, we always come here between, uh, between classes. Yeah, so we can you know, have a lunch and we play board games. For you know, just to unwind for a while. Yeah. I just got to EHB, I will have a building. So, this is the building that uh, everybody, the center of the university, basically, everybody hang out, hangs out here. Uh, it's Costa inside. You can buy coffee, you can have lunch, and you have a small uh, co op there to buy your, your, your snacks and things like that. So, by now, it's time for Juma. Uh, let me show you guys inside. Yeah, there's also classrooms uh, and a big hall for Juma and other events. Yeah. So guys, we just finished Juma Hamla. I'm at Costa in like HB. My friends are eating fish and chips today. I had my lunch. So yeah, come to Hi. Yeah, you guys know Nash. Yeah. He's eating, I don't so, know. What do you think? Um, I'm having here is... Let's have a look. The chicken wrap. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Woohoo! Nice. Yep, so yeah, the chicken here is halal, alhamdulillah. So it's easy for us to get lunch uh, in Lavra. Quite easy in Lavra University. And on Friday, they serve fish and chips because they know the Muslims are praying Juma today. So yeah, it makes it much easier. So this is the student service of Bridgeport Building. See, I've been here with uh, C Career Networks, so they help you to find, uh, you know, to help you prepare for you uh, to enter the market, uh, to, to the job market. So they will see you, see you, 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 you. So it's got this really, really good. So, and I think uh, Lapro Uni uh, really does really well in those areas because they have like almost everywhere. They have uh, different companies coming to see students telling all their programs, and uh, they, they will regularly remind you uh, to send in your CV so they can work it out for you. So really, they really prepare you to enter the job market.
should we just come in and play? Yeah. Like they own the place. <laughs> Next to the hockey field, it's a football state, a football pitch. You can play five and five. So this stadium, this, this field, you don't have to book. Just come in and play wherever, whenever you want. Yeah, just give lights to play at night. So I think it's really good, really good facilities. So guys, I'm entering Village Park. Uh, it's where most of our most students uh, live. Uh, unfortunately, I don't, I don't know anyone who stays at the Village Park right now. So I can show you guys a room. But I can show you guys around. All right. So yeah, but I have a friend that stays uh, in another part of uh, La University, one of the student accommodations. So I'll text him later to see his free lunch. So this is Purple Onion. Uh, yeah, so Purple Onion is a shop near inside. Uh, the village park where you can buy all the convi uh, all your bread, uh, milk and things like that so it's really helpful if you don't have a car and you can travel for lunch you can go to Pukul I heard they do serve like food like pizza things like that but I'm not sure where they serve it looks nice on the outside but uh, from what I've heard from my friends that they usually have parties like almost every night, every other night at least. So they're trying to get a good night's sleep or you know you're almost soon practicing your sleep. It's gonna be a bit too for you. So I just left on the way to the library now. So just on the way to the library. see students playing frisbee or playing Karma Murini or Brad Potter game right now. Uh, Quidditch, yeah, play Quidditch, playing football, sort of, all sorts of stuff. But it's doing this, it's too damn cold right now. <laughs> but usually we're full of students just playing all sorts of sports here. Okay guys, I've tried to go into the library, unfortunately I can't because my student card has expired, so sad. I want to show you guys uh, the different facilities that they have in the library, which I think really helped me during my studies here. Okay guys, this is the village bar, it's located behind the library, so I've eaten here once. It's so it's quite affordable food for students. It's quite good. It's, it's, it's alright. It's not that bad. But yeah, affordable food for students. Yeah. Behind me is Burley Court. Burley Court is the hotel inside the university. So, you know, if you're here just to see the library, to see the university, or just, you know, for convo, or any reason that you came for a short time, you can just stay in Burley Court. Yeah. Or your family or friends are visiting. Okay guys, I'm right now at the other side, at the end of university from where I started. This is mostly engineering buildings which I'm not familiar with of this area. I rarely come to this part of university but I'm just going to show you guys anyway so you guys have a sense of how it looks like. just show you guys is the mechanical and manufacturing uh, engineering school yeah I've, it's my first time being in there so behind me is the electrical electronic and system engineering school yeah. so there are different types of engineering school which i'm still lost about it So guys, behind me is the Department of Aeronautical and Automotive Engineering. So yeah, let's go see what they have inside. Mm. It's really chilly today. It's really windy. Uh, it's, uh, it was snowing this morning. So yeah, I am walking whole university to show you guys so it's really cool it's really so guys this is the other rubber crumb field at the back at the west park yeah.
So guys, this is the hall inside Hollywell in the center. We're going to play volleyball today. I'm from the Hollywell Center. There's a gym inside uh, for students. You have to pay for it. You have to be a member of Hollywell. And there's also uh, a court next to it uh, for to play futsal, basketball, badminton, all sort of things. Yeah. And next to the Hollywell is the Lovebury University Stadium. So let's go and see if you can have a good look inside of it. Yeah. Okay guys, I'm in front of the stadium. Unfortunately, I can't go in as expected, but I've been inside of the stadium once when I just got here like the first or second week, when uh, last time in 21, I was playing the Champions here. So this is the whole Hollywell area uh, facilities. So you have like how many stadiums? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, excluding the stadium. And we also have an American football field. I'm not sure where <laughs> but yeah this shows how big this area is and they also have a beach park for you to play beach volleyball this is crazy yeah so guys since I walked all the way from one end to the other end of the university I think I'm just gonna take the bus back to the other end of the university so far it's such a walk especially in this chilly weather yeah i think it's just three degrees today or less i'm not sure but it's really chilly it was snowing this morning so yeah and just for information the buses if you want to take the buses within the campus is free i think up to four o'clock or five o'clock i remember yeah so it's really helpful if you want to get from the engineering building to ehp or you know from lsu to the building so it's you can easily okay guys that was uh, the end of it at the end my battery died I didn't finish uh, saying what I wanted so guys um, one of the main reasons I started doing this vlog is because I know how, how hard it is to get information about Loughborough especially I mean you can get information about Loughborough University but it's very very hard to get any information about Loughborough on the net so yeah when I check through when I check YouTube and things like that Loughborough I mean I get a few hints about Loughborough and Loughborough University but you don't really see it from the perspective of the student. I mean, you usually see a corporate video from the university, which shows you good things about the university, but you know, you don't see it from the eyes of a student like me. So I hope you guys learn a lot about university. I hope uh, if you guys are planning to come to, the, to learn, to study at the university, I hope this has helped you with your decision. And if you guys have any questions about the university itself or about my course at least, I was studying uh, MSc Business Analytics Consulting. You can hit in the comment, you can just ask me in the comment and let me know uh, what, what, how I can help you guys, alright? So guys, as usual, please like and subscribe and I hope to see you guys next time and inshallah, we will be in Malaysia. Yeah, so yep, assalamualaikum. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Nasiruddin Nahruddin. I'm originally from Kuala Lumpur. I've been in the UK, specifically in Korea, for almost two years. And I'm currently pursuing my PhD in sport nutrition. Being in Loughborough actually is my uh, dream place to be since I'm doing a sport science course. Loughborough itself uh, is a very renowned university in this area. so. Actually, it's, I feel it's very grateful for me to be here and being part of it. We are looking for a sports science study, specifically sports science. I really highly recommend you to pursue your studies in here. Highly recommend it. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Okay. Hey, Assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Yusma Hazim Yusuf. I'm from Brunei. I'm a Loughborough University student doing PhD in Analytical Chemistry. Um, right now I'm in my final year of my PhD. Um, I've been here since my Master's, so I've been in Loughborough for a total of uh, five years. What I think about Loughborough University is actually a very good university if you're interested in doing research. Um, chemistry is known to be top 10 for its um, research courses. Um, one of the main reasons why I chose Lofra back then when I was doing masters is because Lofra was very known for its analytical chemistry in terms of its research and in terms of its job opportunities. There's um, a rate of 90%, more than 90% of Lofra graduates are known to get jobs in the UK at all placements. 
and I think that's actually a very good opportunity for anyone who's planning to work in the UK to study in Loughborough University. One of the biggest challenge for me to be in Loughborough is um, being homesick. The Brunei community back in 2012 was actually um, roughly around 200 Bruneian students. Now in 2018, we have roughly 30 Bruneian students. So that big change in its population in, it, uh, in Lopra actually affected me quite a lot. Uh, but I'm happy that um, I could spend time with um, the brothers from MML, Masharakat Melayu Lopra. Um, they helped me try to settle down and make me feel like as if it's home. I'm really grateful of them and I think if you're coming from Malaysia to study in Lakhra, this is actually a very good place for you to study and also to basically socialize with other Malaysians. Hope to see you soon. All the best. Good luck.